This is a hardware overview of an 8-channel ProXR light relay controller with a KFX communication module installed. The ProXR light relay controller has the ability to control relays. You can tell relays to toggle. You can turn them on for a duration of time. You can turn them on and off. Uh, you can flash the relays. You can do many things with them. And the KFX module has its own little computer built in, and it sends commands to the computer in the ProXR controller. So if you want to toggle a relay on or off, you'll send the, you'll program this computer to toggle a relay and tell it which relay you want. Uh, the KFX module can receive commands from up to 40 different remotes. Now it's important to understand that every single remote does exactly the same thing. So it's not possible to configure one remote to do a different task. Every remote does exactly the same thing. Whether it be a one channel, a two channel, or an eight channel. The difference between these remotes and this remote is that these remotes all have about a 750 foot range and this remote has about a thousand foot range. Now I've tested the range of these controllers extensively. I've tested them in line of sight applications and I've tested them in uh, wooded areas. Everything always works better in a line of sight application so your range will be decreased but I can guarantee you personally that if you don't have a lot of signal interference at 418 megahertz you should be able to get 750 feet of range without a real problem. Every single button on a remote has two events. In other words, when I push this button and I release this button, those are two separate events. And that's going to be really important later on because I'm going to show you what each of these events do. Now I've got this remote configured, so let's take a look at this particular remote. Button 1 is programmed to turn on Relay 1. So whenever I push it, it activates the relay. Button 2 turns off Relay 1. So I can turn on and off Relay 1 with buttons 1 and 2. Okay. Button 3 is set up to be a momentary. So as long as I hold this button down, the relay will be on. And when I release it, another event is triggered and it will deactivate Relay 1. Uh, relay 4, or button 4 here, is a toggle function. So every time I push it, I'm going to toggle a relay. Button 5 is configured to activate a relay for 5 seconds. And when I push that button, that relay will go on for 5 seconds, then it will shut off. Number 6 is a momentary flash. In other words, as I hold this button, it will flash the relay. And when I let off the button, it will stop flashing the relay. Uh, button 7 is configured to flash Relay 1 for 7 seconds. So if I press it and release it, it will activate Relay 1 and deactivate it automatically in a flash pattern for 7 seconds. Um, relay 8 is set to show you each of the two events. So uh, basically every time I press it, you can see that the status of all the relays change. Okay, so this demo pretty much shows everything uh, configured for Relay 1. and But it is possible to configure every single button to control a different relay on your ProXR controller. So you can you can map button 1 to Relay 8 if you want, or, or button 4 to Relay 7. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can configure it to do about anything you want. But in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to configure this KFX module. This KFX module um, is very easy to set up using our base station software. The first thing we have to do though is we have to pull the KFX module out of this controller and install it into our Zigmo and run our base station software. So hang on with me for just a second. Okay, the first thing we want to do is install the KFX module into the Zigbo configuration adapter. So we just plug it in like that, the light comes on, and we are ready to run Base Station. So here, let me bring Base Station into view. Um, Base Station is the software that we use for just about everything. 
Uh, you can use it to control relays on a ProXR board, or in this case, though, we're going to use it to configure the KFX module to send commands to the ProXR controller to do whatever it is we want to do. So I open up the KFX series control panel, and the, the software begins reading all the settings out of the controller. And here we can see all the different events. So like um, button one has got a press event, it's got a release event. Button two has a press event and a, and a release event. And in this is pretty much the same for all of the buttons. All of them have different events. The, the first up and down arrow lets you control how many bytes you want to send to the controller. And these are the actual bytes of data we're going to send. So in other words, if we press button one, we're going to send three bytes of data and the bytes are going to equal 254, 108, 1. 254, 108, 1 is the command we use to activate a relay. Uh, 254 101 is the command that we use to deactivate a relay. And note that whenever I release these buttons, I don't want to do anything, so I set the values to zero. Similarly, uh, button three is configured as a momentary, so when I press it, I activate the relay, and when I release it, I deactivate the relay. And button four uh, was set up as a toggle function, so every time I activate or press button four on the key fob, I can actually toggle the, the relay by sending these commands. Now, all of these configuration settings are pretty much set up to, conf to control relay one as you saw in, in uh, the demo that we did. You can change the relay that you wanna talk to by changing these configuration settings. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that KFX actually works with uh, other hardware rather than just our products. You can send raw serial data out the port and, and send these bytes to any device that, that happens to accept uh, bytes of data. However, if you're working with our product line, you want to keep it on NCD API as this is the best way to, um, to send data to our controllers. Once you're finished with your settings, you just simply store the configuration in the controller and after a few moments, the controller will be configured for your settings and you're ready to take them module the KFX module out of the Zigmo and put it back into your relay controller and try out your new settings. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to show you some other configuration uh, options if, if you need them. And uh, just feel free to send us an email or get in contact with us in some way and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you.